I had been branching out more and more with my style. She looked at me and she was like, you have to get that. And I was like, I know. It just carries such a happy, beautiful vibe. I am barely ready for it and I bought the thing. Hey guys, it's Jess. What's up? Welcome back. Happy Thrifty Thursday. I'm so excited for today's video. I have probably my best haul ever. Luna has come to confirm. Last weekend, I went to the Rose Bowl flea market to kind of just enjoy the flea market. I have not gone without filming a video in so long. And I think because I was not like actively filming and trying to get specific shots and not stressed about that, I think that is why I found my best haul yet because I was truly just absorbing everything. And I also feel like I had like the good thrifting vibes. You guys know what I'm talking about when the thrifting intuition is guiding you. There's truly a fun amalgamation of things in this haul. Get excited. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. And now let's hop on in. We're going to start off with accessories because I, I picked up some of the most incredible accessories that I am just so excited about. So first up, we've got some sunglasses. Something that I have been trying to do is incorporate more fun pieces to like spice up outfits and to kind of just like add to the whole styling experience. So this first pair of sunglasses is definitely a fun one. They are these white square ones, which I know you guys are gonna be like, Jessica, what the heck is this? I think they're really fun. I think they're groovy. I think they're funky. Someone who I regard as like a style icon is Iris Atful, and she wears like the coolest sunglasses and glasses. So when I saw these, I was like, I'm gonna channel my inner Iris. On the same note, I picked up another pair of sunglasses, which I like the other ones, but I like these ones even more. They are these. If the last ones were cool, these ones are mega super cool. I just love the style of these. How rad, how funky. Funky is the vibe that I have been incorporating more and more into my style. My style was already a very like casual, chic, eclectic mix, but now I'm adding more like funky things in. So having a couple accessories like this really just bring it all together, create a very cool, cohesive look. And these, again, Iris Apple inspired, not necessarily exact style, but the vibe, the boldness, the cool shapes. Next up, I've got a couple of hats, which I'm not usually the biggest hat person. I do have a couple in my collection, but they are very few. But then I found all of these hats at this one boutique that also had home decor, which you guys will see later. And they had a plethora of hats and a couple of them actually looked really cute on me. First, we've got this woven visor, which I think is so cool. I love the beachy island vacation vibes that this has. Next, Alegria actually got a matching one of this one. This one kind of reminds me of the hat that the farmer emoji wears. And I love the farmer emoji. I think she's so cute. And my last hat, it's like cowboy hat vibes, but it's not cowboy hat vibes, which I also do like those. But this one is like a, a bit more of a toned down cowboy hat. Moving on to one of my favorite sections in a haul, because I just, I have such a soft spot for them, purses. And it's so funny because my mom has always been a like collector of purses. And I think it passed down through my jeans because now I just, I love a good purse. I love different styles and colors. Finding them, it just, it feels like such a treasure. And I picked up some really, really cute purses. So first purse I picked up is this stunning number right here. It's this chocolate brown macrame purse. It's got wooden beading along the bottom and these two big wooden hoops at the top for handles. It is so well made in such amazing condition, so high quality. When I look at this, this looks like something that I would buy from Colt Gaia for, I don't know, four or $500. <laughs> this next purse, you guys are not even ready for. I am barely ready for it and I bought the thing. Our next piece is this stunning pink coach shoulder bag. How beautiful is this? How cool is this? I am head over heels for this purse. It is so beautiful. It's so cool. And I mean like, look at this. She's on the go, she's got a pink purse, and she's happy. It just brings me such 
joy, such radiance. I love coaches purses. I have a couple myself that I have bought that I love. And then I have quite a few that my mom has passed down to me, again, from her purse collection. It's very 90s meets Y2K, but not in an over the top Y2K way, but in more of a, like a nod to Y2K while still having a very like 90s kind of silhouette. And the final purse I picked up, Again, you guys are not ready for it. This is actually from the same stall as the coach purse. And it is this pink Dooney and Burke handbag. How cute is this? How gorgeous. It is so fun and funky. I love the color. I love the little Dooney and Burke heart right here. So cool and stylized. And Dooney and Burke is my other probably most had number of that brand of purses. Wow, I said that in the worst way possible. My mom was a big fan of Dooney and Burke, so she's passed down a couple of her Dooney purses to me. So to find this cool, funky style, I was very excited. Moving on to clothes, I also picked up some incredible clothes. Let's start off with something that I'm so excited to wear for spring. I've got this green micro checkered print dress featuring white and purple daisies. This dress just has such happy, cute vibes. I cannot wait to wear this in the spring, in the summer, and just frolic around in fields. Another piece that I adore is this blue-toned island landscape. It's so beautiful and it's very funny because I have a green dress that is so similar to this in cut in the same exact kind of fabric and print that also was handed down to me from my mom. She bought it in the 90s. And I feel like it's either from the same designer, the same collection, or the same kind of line. Next on our roster, we've got a gift for my husband. I I could not pass this up. My husband loves like cool, funky, fun button-ups. So when I saw this one that had Twinkies on it, I showed it to him. He loves it. He thinks it's super cool and he cannot wait to wear it. I also picked up two matching sets. The first one is a hot pink cardigan tennis skirt set. And this set honestly is pretty out of my comfort zone. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I have been branching out more and more with my style. When I saw this on the mannequin at this super sweet ladies boutique, actually she called it a vintique because she has a combination of vintage and then also curated boutique pieces. I looked at Allegria, she looked at me and she was like, you have to get that. And I was like, I know, I know. I, I just envisioned so many fun looks with this. The second set I actually don't have right now because it's in the wash, but it is a matching cardigan and skirt set as well. It's white with fuzzy little accents. So it has it on the sleeves, it has it on the hem of the skirt. It's fun, it's cool. It's another one that's out of my comfort zone, but we're pushing the boundaries. We're getting out of what feels easy and safe and we're trying different things and we're having a lot of fun. And our final two clothing pieces are by far the coolest clothing pieces. Like all the other ones, gorgeous, amazing. I love them so much, but these ones are above and beyond. A++, like S tier, incredible, elite. Our penultimate piece of clothing is this gorgeous maroon leather blazer. How stunning is this? How beautiful, how cool, how badass is this blazer. It fits so beautifully, it's so pretty. I love the color. It honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, which I don't, I don't love Peter Quill that much, but he does have a very cool jacket. And this piece is a little bit reminiscent of that. Such a fun addition to an outfit. And this blazer actually was from the same booth as the one where I got the coach and the Duty and Burke purse. Like she was just stocked up. She also had the green dress and the blue tank top all the best things. And our final clothing piece before we hop into home stuff is another absolute banger. So cool, so stunning. And for my Disney fans, you will extra appreciate this. You guys know I love Disney. The last piece is the perfect thing to wear on my next Disney trip. And it is this gorgeous light wash vintage denim jacket with all of the Mickey Mouse fixings and stylings. We've got buttons and patches. We've got a giant Mickey on the back and a heart. His name there at the top. It's just so fun. It's so cool. Whoever had this before also put on little like beads, these little like rhinestone looking things that I love. And finding this piece, I just, I truly feel like I scored. So the first home piece that I wanna show you guys is this gorgeous sewing box. I have been looking for so long for a new 
something to contain my sewing supplies because I feel like I have so many needles and so many spools of thread and so many bobbins and so many things and they all kind of just live in like several different like baskets or like vessels of carrying and I really wanted to have everything all in one space and I just had not found anything I liked. So you pull up the tops and it not only is just like a single additional tier, it is several tiers. It opens up almost like a, what are they called? Um, a bot, a boodle, a boodle, caboodle. It kind of is like a antique looking caboodle, but for sewing of wood with many levels. I'm so excited to put all my sewing stuff in there. It's going to be so nice to just have everything all in one spot. So one furniture and home decor boutique that was at the Rose Bowl is this brand called, I think it's Shopitana. Alegria was telling me about them. So she's actually followed them for a long time on Instagram. She is also looking for home stuff because she just got a new place. So she was looking for things. All of the stuff they had was on such sale from their normal prices. So I picked up a couple things as well. So the first thing that I picked up is this little round vase. I thought this would look lovely on my shelf. Another one of the pieces I got is this beige bowling pin-esque vase. Not for the shelf, but I picked it up for $5. Is this little soap or jewelry tray or candle holder. I don't know, it's, it's like a multi-purpose, multi-faceted kind of thing. And the last thing I picked up from Shopitana was this <laughs> wall art piece that is uh, pretty exactly reminiscent of a Wallis. If you guys didn't know, I'm half Filipino. We have a broom that looks pretty much exactly like this. Where I'm envisioning this being is in my bedroom above my bed because our room has a lot of like natural inspired textures. So I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this would look beautiful above the bed and just be like that perfect wall art kind of piece. And I just know when my mom comes over next, she's gonna be like, oh, you put Wallis on your wall. She's gonna tease me about it, but I don't even care because it's so cute. I also picked up this fashion drawing in Vogue book. I thought this would be a very nice coffee table book. Also a source for a lot of inspiration. And the last couple of pieces in this haul are a couple of art pieces. And the first piece is this magazine, which is not actually an art piece, but I am planning to use it as such. I found this for $3. I love the old Hollywood look of this. It reminded me of the Chinese theater or just any of the other many historic theaters in LA. And I thought this would look so cool framed. And I'm also really excited to look through this because I love old vintage magazines. There's always like the most interesting advertisements and articles and things. And the last thing that I picked up is from the same place that I bought the previous magazine from. And this one is actually in a Walt Disney Productions envelope. The piece that I bought is this Daffy Duck print. I loved the art style of it. I just, I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. I have no idea how important this was, who made this print, what it was for, but Either way, I love this piece and I think it's going to be very, very cool, either framed up downstairs in like the living room area or maybe at my husband's office, TBD. And that's a wrap on today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super amazing haul. I am so excited about this haul. I love all of the pieces in this so much. It definitely was a pricey Rose Bowl trip and I kind of don't wanna go back for a while because Again, it was pricey, but I am so elated and so ecstatic about all of the pieces I found. I cannot wait to style them. And I wanna know what is your favorite piece that I picked up? Let me know in the comment section. And now let's hop in to the quote of the day segment. Now for today's quote of the day, we have a lovely quote. Today's quote reads, I changed my thinking, it changed my life. Your thoughts create your reality. What you're thinking up here comes out and shows up in every area of your life. So it is so important to be aware of your thoughts and be aware of what you're thinking, how you speak to yourself, what you allow yourself to think about yourself. That is today's quote of the day. It's something I want you guys to think on, marinate on. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this thrifting thrift haul. I haven't done like a, a whole just like singular thrift haul in so long. If you have video requests or things that you guys wanna see, let me know. If you guys are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you guys follow me for more fun day-to-day -day stuff at Jessica Neistat. I am very active on both of those places and I think that's it. So thank you guys again for watching today's video. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!